Hi you guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. A quick update on my pregnancy. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm seven and a half weeks. I started working out. Um, that's why I'm in like gym clothes and I look kind of whatever. Um, but anyway, I started working out because my appetite is through the roof. I have not experienced nausea yet. I feel like I probably will at some point. I'm expecting it. I don't know. Maybe I won't. But um, I haven't experienced nausea yet, but I am, my appetite is nuts. So I've started working out, which I've been meaning to for months and months anyway, so it's a good thing. Um, but anyway, so I'm feeling pretty good. I've been wanting to take a lot of naps and I've been wanting to eat a lot. Um, and I'm getting breakouts. I'm get, I have I have pimples and that's um, nothing that uh, is very familiar to me, thankfully. Anyway, I am going to unbox this now. So this is what the box looks like and um, it's super cute and pink. It says be bold, be kind. And then on the inside fla flap it says Le creme, or the creme de la cruelty free, which means the best of cruelty free. And I can already smell it, it's uh, kind of fragrant. And Pediver is a cruelty-free uh, subscription box. It's monthly, it's only 18 bucks a month, so I was really excited to try it out. I really did enjoy my January items. I'm gonna go over what I got in that box after I open this and show you what, um, uh, tell you what I think of those products. I am still really spacey. That's one of the pregnancy symptoms I have and I'm just misspeaking all over the place. But um, anyway, so I will go over those after this. So uh, anyway, there's something in this smells really fragrant. I'm excited to get to it and see what it is. It's kind of minty. Yeah, it's very minty. Um, anyway, so it comes with this little card, this cute little card, and then inside it explains the uh, contents and what the retail value is of each thing. Um, so it says, this month we've curated a box meant to feed your skin a little TLC as the winter takes its toll. Indulge in a... Oh, it tells you, it talks about what is in here, so I'm just going to show you what's in here. Um, and then it has the retail value. So. This first thing, this is what I'm smelling. This is a sea mineral foot soak, which is awesome. I often do pedicures myself at home. Um, and so this is eucalyptus and pep peppermint. That's what I'm smelling. It smells really nice. So I will use this for one of my uh, at home pedicures. And this retails for $7. Uh, this fizzing foot soak is a wonderful way to end a long day. Peppermint, eucalyptus, rosemary, and activated charcoal soothe and detoxify tired feet. So that'll be really nice. Um, ooh. <laughs> what is this? This looks like an eyeliner. Okay, so it says it's by Antonym. What is that? Steel by Antim Antonym. Um, so this is a cruelty-free eyeliner. Let's see. Certified natural waterproof eye pencil. It's worth $19. Uh, so right there, that's the price, more than the price of the box. Looking for a clean coal pencil dupe? This is it. Smudge proof and hyper pigmented. This eye pencil is long wearing and comes with a detachable sharpener. I am really liking this box. I'll let you know what I think of the, the January stuff but I really am liking it. So there's the sharpener. It came off of the end. I have never seen anything like that before. I, um, you, you may have noticed if you watch my channel that um, I do a lot of skincare and hair care and a little bit of makeup. So I have never seen that before. I'm, I'm, I really have a lot to learn about makeup. So that's really neat. And then, yeah, and it's a, I think it's supposed to be like a charcoal color, is what it said in here. Um, no, coal. I'm not sure. It looks like a charcoal color to me. Anyway, that's exciting. I actually, I just asked my husband what he thinks of eyeliner, and he said he thinks it's pretty, because I never wear, I only wear lip color and mascara, and sometimes I fill in my eyebrows a little bit. So I've been wanting to branch out and learn more about uh, makeup. I'm really, I'm going to stop talking about this. I'm really into this box. Okay. So, now I've seen some of these things in the FabFitFun sales. So this is a cuticle balm by Air, Air, E-I-R. 
Tough Love Cuticle Balm. It's worth $14. This just released vegan cuticle balm contains neem oil, a hydrating emollient with antiseptic and antifungal properties that is perfect for rough skin patches. Awesome. I will use it and I'm sure it is quite nice. It smells good. It's got the pepperminty smell, which I feel like is in so many things. But there's a hint of something. It smells nice. It smells like um, aromatherapy oily smell, which that comes in a lot of different kinds of smells. But anyway, uh, so that's very cool. And then a toner. So this is a seaweed toner. This is this is a really great box for me because I I was thinking about getting an eyeliner. I don't have a cuticle balm. I always just, you know, put oils on my cuticles. So that's okay. And I've never tried this brown brand. I've seen them in Fat Fit Bun, so it's neat to um try them out. And I have never incorporated a toner into my skincare routine. Because I kind of haven't ever seen the point in them. I see the point of an astringent. I see the point of, you know, of serums, moisturizers, all that kind of stuff. But I've never really wrapped my head around why we also need a toner when all the ingredients that could come in toner are also in these moisturizers and serums that we're using. It just always felt like an unnecessary step. So I don't have, because of that, I don't have a toner. This is, it retails for $10. It says, made with tea tree and hyaluronic acid, this hydrating toner does it all. Clears complexion, balances pH, calms skin, refines pores, and sets makeup. So, awesome. Now I get to try a toner and see if I have been wrong all this time. Let's see how it smells. Oh, it has a very, let's just... It has a very like concentrated spray. It smells like tortillas. <laughs> There's like a hint of tortilla in it. I told you I'm really hungry <laughs> in my pregnancy. It's supposed to smell like... It doesn't totally smell like tortillas, but I just got hungry smelling it. And it smells... <laughs> tortillas to me and I think I'm just really really hungry there's something botanical in it as well now I really want a burrito <laughs> and that's it that's all that's in it so that's a total of 29 36 $50 $50 worth of stuff between um, these four things in the February box, and oh my gosh, if you go online to the Pediverse store, the online store, it just looks so classy, and it's to it's definitely high-end vegan things, and you can go on. These are sample sizes, and so if I liked this toner a lot, I don't want to smell like tortillas all the time. I, it doesn't just smell like tortillas. I'm just very hungry. I'm pregnant, but... Um, <laughs> Uh, so if I really like this toner, I could go on, I could buy a full-size bottle, and if I really like this eyeliner, I could go on and repurchase it. And so they do have an online shop that you can go on and, and, and shop around. Um, so that's really awesome. So I am going to go over the January items. Um, in the January box, there were a couple of towelettes. I have never been much of a towelette girl, so I haven't used them yet, and I'll just throw them in my purse and maybe use them if I feel extra grimy at some point, but, um, yeah, I'm not, they, they seem a little wasteful to me, so I've never really gotten into getting them, um, but, so, in the January box, we got, let me gather these things here, aside from the towelettes, now, I haven't had a chance to try, so in the January box, we got this underarm detox bar, and it is uh, supposed to help when you're using natural deodorant. You use this in the shower first, and it's supposed to kind of reinforce your natural deodorant's, 
natural deodorant's abilities to uh, be effective. I have worn natural deodorant before and by noon have felt like, oh my god, why did I even bother, bother wearing anything? I almost smell worse than if I didn't wear any deodorant. Um, anyway, and so I'm excited to try this out. My husband, actually, at TJ Maxx, he, I told him about the um, issue women face with having a difficult time finding um, deodorant that doesn't have aluminum in it. It's much easier for men to find something that doesn't have aluminum in it. So he found at TJ Maxx this, and I have been amazed at how well it's been working. He found it at TJ Maxx for two bucks, and it works. I wore it um, before going to the gym this weekend too, and I was fine. Um, anyway, so I didn't use this beforehand, but I will, and I will give you a review, but this, I do recommend this. This is Nature's Gate Herbal Blend Deodorant, and, um, it worked really well. So, I haven't used this, but I follow Naturally Beautiful Girl. She's a YouTuber. She does cruelty-free beauty, and, um, she, in her January unboxing, she said that she had one of these already that she was almost gone, and so she was really happy to get another one. So that's pretty cool. Um, the next thing that we got in the January box was this, and I just did a product review video where I raved about this. This is a plum oil, and the world needs to know about plum oils. It's called La, La Prunier, and I assume that means the plum in uh, French, and it's... Um, made and bottled in like Sonoma or Napa in the North Bay area in California and it smells amazing. I raved about it in my product review video and it, it has it's a fairly um, viscous oil but it goes on and it absorbs so nicely and it just smells out of this world. Oh my god, I'm, I'm just, I'm gonna nurse this because this little guy is worth $20 and to get like a one ounce dropper bottle of it, like this one, um, like this size is $72. So um, that is quite pricey, but I, I would almost consider paying it. It is, it's just so luxurious, this oil. So um, the last thing that was in the January box is this, um, Pacifica Stellar Gaze uh, Mascara, which is really cool because now I have an eyeliner to go with it. That was very thoughtful, Kyber. Um <clears throat> So this mascara, it's not for me, but it's not a bad mascara. It reminds me of this mascara, the Maybelline Great Lash. This is a very popular mascara. Um, it goes on really nicely. I like... Um, mascaras that really lengthen. Uh, this provides, these both provide nice volume and darkening and like kind of fill out your eyelashes, but I noticed both of these when I used these, I didn't feel like I got much length out of them. So if you prefer that, uh, volumizing and you're not, you're not so much into length, then this is a really, really nice uh, mascara. It goes on really, really smooth, smoothly. It's not clumpy. Um, and I, oh, <laughs> looking at this fully, I do remember something else about it that I do need to tell you. Um, when I, the, look at how big that spoolie is. It was, it's gigantic. Let me compare it side by side. <laughs> okay. Look at how big that spoolie is. Oh my gosh. So when I was putting this one on, I couldn't help but get it all over my eyelid, all over, just all over the place. And so I did have to go in with a Q-tip quite a bit on both sides to get it to clean up, to clean it up. Um, anyway, so it doesn't lengthen much and it has a giant spoolie that's uh, fairly difficult to keep control of. But other than that, it is a nice mascara and the formula does work really well. I suppose I wouldn't say run out and buy it. Um, and I will eventually use it up. I have I have my Holy Grail mascara that I have difficulty straying from anyway, so I have a few mascaras. I got this Tarte one 
also in the Fab Fit Fun, and I just I have I've touched it once just because I love my I love my CoverGirl Fibers mascara. Anyway, so so far I'm really excited about this box, and I can't wait to see what they will continue to send me. Um, anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys later. Bye.